Hi students, so this is a part two of the lecture and this video is focused on dilation. Um, dilation is this sort of fourth rigid transformation um, that um, where we reduce or enlarge shapes. So um, one example to, or one way to think about dilation is, you know, if you go to McDonald's or your, your other favorite fast food restaurant and they ask you what size drink do you want, you know, it's small, medium, or large, right? But the, the shape of the cup does not necessarily change, only the size, right? So that's essentially what dilation does. It it's resizes um, an object without changing its shape. So looking at this um, first example, right, we have our original, our OG, um, triangle here and this is the new one right so maybe um, the OG is the pre-image and the new shape is the image right um, and it's being scaled by a factor of two um, from a center of dilat dilation at the origin so like we have lines of reflection you know we have centers of dilation so the center or the of dilation is here right so here's our object that's going to all three of these points but now it's being scaled by a factor of two so it's getting bigger right so the distance from B to B to this new distance so I'm sorry let me rephrase that the distance from the origin to B is now doubled for B prime so now the distance for B prime is twice the distance as it is from B Right, so A is the same thing, it's now twice the distance long to get to the new shape. And if we look at our sample points, right, let me actually put this in blue, A prime is now at 4, positive 2, and B is at, or B prime, excuse me, is at um, 2, positive 6 and C prime is at 6, positive 4. And this makes sense because we're scaling or we're taking this coordinate and you're, we're multiplying the whole coordinate times 2. Right? All three coordinates, all the values are being multiplied times 2. Right? So the segment length 2.24 is actually the length of that segment is going to double as well. So that's going to be 4 point you know, 4.8. This is also doubling, so that's also 4.48. Oops, sorry, I got my 8 messed up there. And this is also going to double that length of that as well. That's going to be 2 times 8.2, right? Now, remember, I said that the size will change, but the shape won't change. So these angle measures are going to stay the same. Okay, so if the angle measures change, then the shape of the triangle would be different and therefore it would not be a dilation. So again, um, the size changes, right? Size changes, but shape does not. Shape does not. Okay, so if we scroll down, right, um, there's some there's a couple of definitions or things that you need to know, right? C, right here, that is the center of dilation, right? Oops, dilation, right? Uh, I don't think I, s I did not spell that correctly. Man, my spelling is off today. Dilation, okay. We have the, what's called the scale factors, often referred to as K. K, that's basically the number you're multiplying by. So you're scaling it by either uh, one half or two or three or a hundred, whatever it is, that is what you're scaling it by. Where we get more specific when we talk about scale factor is when we talk about enlarging or reducing the size of an object. When we enlarge an object, okay, we're multiplying by a number bigger than one and when we are reducing the size of an object, we are multiplying by a number between 0 and 1. So that you can think of that as a decimal 
for a fraction, right, that is less than 1. Okay? Um, so that could look like, you know, 0 0.1 or, you know, 1 half, right? That would be a reduction. Okay, I know this is really s might be might print out really small on your paper, um, but I was trying to save some save some trees. Um, the first one we're going to look at is reduction, right? So what you need to do, and I'll let you guys kind of practice this on your own. I'll do a cup. I'll do the first one on both sides, but for reduction, right? Our pre-image. We just want to write our coordinates. So we want to write what the A, B, and C coordinates are. So a is at negative 3, um, positive 3, B is located at negative 3, negative 3, and C is B is located at um, 3, negative 3. Okay, and we want to reduce this triangle by one third. Okay, so that means I'm going to take my coordinate, um, negative 3, comma 3, and I'm going to multiply that coordinate by 1 third, so 1 third times negative 3, that's just negative 1, so A prime is going to be at negative 1, and then 1 third times 3 is just um, 1, so that is going to be 1, and since we already did, oops, this should be A prime, B prime, so this is negative 1, negative 1, C prime is going to be 1, negative 1, and if we plot those points, negative 1, 1 is here, here, and here. This is our um, new triangle, so this is A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay, so if you want to watch that part again, rewind it, and then I would like you on your own um, to fill in or complete these last two. And then similarly you're going to do that for um, enlargement, right? You're going to write down your, um, let me use a different color for this one. You're going to write down your original coordinates D, E, and F. So this is one, oops, negative one, one, E is negative one, negative one, and f is one, negative one, um, and now you have an enlargement of three, so three times negative one, one, right, so d prime is going to be negative three, three, because, you know, three times negative one is negative three, and three times one is three, so Similarly, we're just going to go ahead and fill this in using that those multiplication rules. Oops, I'm sorry, that should be positive 3, negative 3. And then I'm just going to enlarge my shape. So this is negative 3, 3, negative 3, negative 3, and 3, negative 3. And we are going to connect that D, E, and F. These are their prime values. So now that tr original triangle was enlarged by a scale factor of 3. And again, like you did for reduction, I want you to go ahead and complete that for enlargement. And then once you're done with all of that, go ahead and work on these practice problems below. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and contact me. Thank you.